Yo, what is up guys? It's Izzy here, back to the video, and today, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to drift in Vehicle Legends. Now, this video is kind of inspired by Carter the Car, so, credits to him. Now, as you guys know, that Vehicle Legends is really, really not, um, known for their drift physics, because they kind of suck. But they can be good if you guys are actually able to drift right, which I know how to drift right. <laughs> And I'm going to show you guys in this video on how to drift in Vehicle Legends. Now, of course, now of course, in a game where it's not meant for drift physics, it's going to also be really, really tricky. But there is a way to do it, and it is possible. So let me go ahead and show you guys and tell you guys how you guys can drift in Vehicle Legends. So obviously, you're going to need the car. Now, what car can you get, and what car do you need? And well, let me go ahead and tell you guys. So there is somewhat a specific thing you need. Um, specific stuff you need for a drift car in this game and that is you need a car that can do at max no more than this 200 miles per hour you need a car that can go 200 miles per hour at max um preferably 180 190 something like that preferably and you guys are going to need the um zero to 60 to be below three seconds if it's dead on three seconds then maybe that's okay not necessarily great but it it, I get, it, it can work. Now let me go ahead and find something that you guys can possibly use. Now I um I already tried to use this thing right here. I know a lot of people go crazy saying, "Oh, I want the BMW M4 for my drift car." Well, I just I, I I'm recording this again because I because I just made the other video way too long. And let me just go ahead and say this: this thing does not drift. It kind of drifts if you get the higher top speed, but. It, it, it's not it does not drift let's just say that so what my few picks would be is the um corvette c6 c6 zero one or the um the uh c8 corvette one of these are like really good options in my opinion for like less than 100k of course you guys don't have to use a car for less than 100k but i mean of course you can use like any other car sort of like these are just like my personal picks for like something that's like less than 100k you know but we're going to go ahead and use the nsx i don't think i have this max i don't think i've done anything to it yet so i think this will be a pretty good car for me to use um so yeah let me go ahead and see if i can actually uh find this thing of course okay and i haven't so let's go ahead and see what we can do so now that you guys have your car and you guys have the car that you guys want to use now with maxing it and upgrading it it's kind of pretty much a sort of normally upgrading it but there's two things you guys need do not do not switch the um drivetrain to all-wheel drive keep it at either real wheel drive or for or um front wheel drive one or the other they're technically both the same thing somewhat but just, i prefer real i prefer rear wheel drive so do that and then pretty much just max the car like you normally would technically i wouldn't necessarily worry about the brakes because i don't use i don't get the brakes personally but if you want to you can but i don't think it's going to help you much and for your suspension stiffness do racing suspension do not do the off-road suspension please ground scraper suspension height of course i mean duh and tires of course you want to get your drift tires and there you go now once you guys have your car customized and whatever done to it um yeah you guys are pretty much ready to drift now how exactly do you guys drift now to drift it's like i said before it's all it's it's kind of tricky but it's possible so let me go ahead and show you guys the drift here check that out that was freaking clean if it didn't hit the wall they saw wall tap though that was that was nice that was that was nice i like that now how do you drift like that well here's how you do it so when you guys are coming up to a turn now there is sort of somewhat two ways to do a drift so if you guys are on a turn like this you guys can do the drift how i just did it right there which is some which is easier to do it um then well okay yeah it's it's easier to do it than the uh like longer turns so like something similar to like that kind of but to drift you guys want to be um going at uh going on the turn about 140 miles per hour so something about there and you guys wanted to kind of do the turn there and i guess in, in this car is gonna be kind of difficult because i mean it's got somewhat slower uh zero um zero to 60 because well it's not the fastest thing in the world obviously but yeah so something like this right here you guys just kind of want to do this here that was freaking sick Turns like these right here these will be kind of hard to do but i mean it's possible if you're going fast enough but it will be it was, it was it's still gonna be kind of difficult but yeah so if a so far a turn like this you guys kind of just want to um hit space so hit the e-brake don't hit anything except the direction you want to go in so if you guys are wanting to go to this turn to the right hold right and hold and press the e-brake for like a split second until you're sideways fully and then power over it by hitting w by holding w and hitting the shift bar so you're nitrous so so like this so that and then boom 
like that. So space, nothing else, and then just power over pretty much. So it's basically space, turn, so basically space and turn, and then e, and then W and then what's the and then, yeah. Basically, you're going to be the only button you're going to be holding the entire time is going to be the direction you're going in. So if I'm going to take a drift um to the right, I'm only I'm going to be holding the right the right um button the entire time. It's really hard to explain because obviously you can't see what I'm doing and yeah it, it's it's really difficult so basically i'm gonna try to say the best i can so basically space so basically hold the hold the direction you want to go in space and nothing else so literally the e-brake for a split second and then hold the um hold the direction you want to go in the entire time and then power over so simply so simply go the direction you want to go in e-brake and yeah you guys can see right there how it just slid out like that you can see so literally just so literally hold the direction you want to go in nothing else hold the direction you want to go in press the e-brake for a split second for a split second and then power and then hold w and nitrous and then go Obviously, I went too fast there, but you guys get the point. Now, I think the best car for drifting is definitely going to be Hans RX-7, because, I mean, well, it was in a movie that was based on drifting. But, yeah, I mean, this thing literally just drifts so well, though. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, almost, but you get the point. This thing sides really, really well, and I definitely suggest you guys get this for if you guys want a drift car. It is so freaking good. It slides really, really well if you're actually, if you do the uh, thing right. If you guys want a cheaper car that can drift really well, then I 101% you guys, su I suggest you guys go to the freaking S2K or the, the S2000 because this thing drifts really freaking well and it's like, it's like 66k this thing drifts so very well and it's really and it's actually pretty um really really good for like it's top speed for like the speed you want to go to for drifting this thing goes well look at this freaking gorgeous dude yeah this thing i definitely suggest you guys go ahead and get this if you guys want a really good drift car for cheap so get this please it, it's so freaking good but yeah i think i pretty much explained everything you guys need um so yeah for a drift car i think i've explained everything so if you guys did enjoy this video or find a help or anything like that of course leave a like instead of my channel follow me on twitter and join my discord server and join my robust group all the wheelings in the description have a great day everyone and peace Won't let